Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to take a look at identifiable what it is and why it's important to us in Swift UI so let's get straight into it. Identifiable is a new protocol available to us in Swift UI to uniquely identify items within a collection. So you may be wondering why is this important? Well when you're working with components such as lists, for each and pickers you may want to give these components a unique way to identify items within them. Since we don't want to hard code some views, we want them to be dynamic based on some kind of data source. And the reason for this is because we want SwiftUI to react to any changes to our items and reflect them within our UI. So let's look at an example here where let's say we have a list of people like a contacts book. Well, when you're working with lists, you want to be able to uniquely identify each element. So in this example, we're uniquely identifying each person based on their name. As you can see here, we have a list of people, but we have a problem here because if you look at the first two examples, we actually have two people with the same name. And what about if we want to update our first person and update their name from Billy to Junior? How could we do this and what can we use? Well, the problem we have here is that there's no way to uniquely identify which Billy that we want to update. And this is why identifiable is useful and this is where this comes in. Let's look at our model for this. So we have our model here, which is a struct person, and we have our first name and our last name. And our unique identifier is first name. But like we said before, we had a problem where our name was repeated so we can't actually use first name as a unique identifier. So what we need to do is actually use the identifiable protocol. So the identifiable protocol allows us to add uniqueness to items within a collection. So if we was to use this on our model, as you can see, now we actually have a constant ID and we create an instance of a UUID. So there's two things here. That I want to break down and the first thing is why a constant and why and what is a UUID? Well let's answer the UUID question first. So UUID stands for universally unique identifier and why is this more reliable than using the name? Well a UUID has an endless possibilities for all the possible IDs that may get generated so it's almost impossible for two objects to have the same identifier when using this. Once you create an instance of a UUID, you automatically get an object with a unique identifier that you can use for objects within your app. And the next question is, why a constant? Well, if you remember in my video, Breaking Down Swift UI and Swift UI in Dataflow, you'll notice that when you make a change to your model, your source of truth is invalidated and the new change gets drawn on the screen. If we match our property with var rather than let, it's actually possible for the value of our unique identifier to change. So we definitely want to avoid this since SwiftUI now thinks that we have a new object, but in actuality, we don't. So giving an object or a view a specific ID is often referred to as explicit identity. Now, when you're working with identifiers with the identifiable protocol, you're not just limited to using UUID as your identifier. If you wanted to, you could use any type that is equatable. So you could have a string and generate your own IDs using something like a SKU. But for me personally, I prefer to use UUID since I feel like this is more safe compared to something such as strings. So going back to our contacts book example, we now have our list and this time they're being uniquely identified based on their IDs within the model. Now, if we want to change the name of a person, all we need to do is simply find that item with the specific ID and SwiftUI can know specifically which object you want to change, therefore solving our problems. So SwiftUI now knows what item we want to change because of our unique ID. And also it's able to track changes to our item easily since we use a constant and a UUID as its identifier. So in the example here, we tell our model to update the item with the ID 1DFXXX. So now it knows that I want you to update this version of Billy with the first name Junior, not the second example. So that's everything from me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.